how can you unlove something that you already are very in love with? So, you know, the brand itself, I love, I will support. But the bags, for now, I will collect other brands muna siguro. I'll rekindle my love for, you're gonna see in the next episodes, what brands I'm currently into after this. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Amy and today I'm going to discuss with you why I'm currently stopping my collection of Chanel bags. Yeah, parang everyone knows naman how I adore Chanel and how, you know, how it is part of my lifestyle. But um, as time goes by, syempre, you know, I've had very, very good relationship with, with Chanel. Um, you know, you've seen the photos of the fashion shows that I have been to, of their bosses, of, you know, the international stars that I was able to see because of Chanel. And, you know, the brand itself is, you know, a, a representation of me also. So, now, I think that... Um, when it comes to bags, I think that I have, sh I should explore more um, or other brands besides, beside or aside from Chanel. Kasi, may mga reason kung bakit nag-decide ako bigla ng ganito. But before we go there, syempre, enjoyin muna natin yung mga moments na special to Chanel. Yan. Padala natin, ay, pakita natin yung mga, yung mga um, fashion show na mga clips ko dito pa isa-isa. Kanyan. that I don't love Chanel anymore because how can you unlove something that you already are very in love with? So, you know, the brand itself, I love, I will support, but the bags, for now, I will collect other brands muna siguro. I'll rekindle my love for, you're gonna see in the next episodes, what brands I'm currently into after this. So, why do I have the two Chanel 19 bags here? Because these are the last two bags that I bought for my collection. So, ayan. And, eto kasi yung backstory kung bakit um, umayaw na ako na supportahan yung mga bags nila, and yung leather goods nila. But, I still buy from time to time the shoes and, you know, some accessories and, of course, the clothes because I love their clothes. Um... It was in 2020, last year, yeah. 2020, nag-start kasi na mag-power trip ang mga staff. Um, as they all know, that my status as a client is um, elite already. And there's a Filipino that actually, I don't know who she is, but there was one that, but that she was picking on me. I'm not gonna say which branch or which, or which country, but she picked on me and then um of course uh i would have to express that to the higher ups because i cannot get my things i mean the, those are already pre-ordered few seasons ago so kumbaga parang syempre pinagtitripan ka eh ayaw ibigay agad so madedelay ka diba nakakalungkot kasi um kapo mo pilipino yung gagawa nun sayo and unang-una sa lahat hindi naman siya yung may hawak ng account ko. So, 
I don't know, for some reason, they don't, you know, they just maybe they didn't like to see a Filipino, um, you know, being there or being among top. Kasi, kala siguro nila, it's, it's just because of the clients. But the reality is, I, it's really for me. Uh, most of them are for me. And when I buy something for, you know, for, for high-profile celebrities and clients, I would tell that this will be for my friend and this will be for, for madame like this. That is how honest I am when I am buying my purchases. So, you see, para sa isang kagaya ko na very loyal sa brand and someone who actually, you know, embraced it and, you know, inano ko na siya, inincorporate ko na siya sa everyday living ko. Malaking decision for me to stop muna na bumili. You know, I mean, the, the colors are still so nice. The, the you know, the mga new models are so nice. And ang ganda, parang you'll always get tempted, you know, because it's it's something that you really, really love. But, yun nga. Um, after that incident, after ko, is, after ko erase yung issue, of course, they had to do something to appease me. And... Uh, after that, ayo naging okay ulit. And then, um, since the, the pandemic, um, you know that a lot of people have, you know, uh, don't have access to Chanel, and most of the most of most of the sellers online are resellers. They are the ones who hoards the bags, who buys the bags, uh, and then they sell it. When, they have stocks and then they will sell it and then sometimes they exchange it. Kunyari, may mali yung order, ganyan, and then you will exchange it. Um, those are the, ano kasi, those are the things that the brand, ano, uh, that alerts the brand kung bakit papalit-palit, bakit iba-iba yung size. So, you see, if you see my record of all the shoes, sa dami ng sapatos, lahat yung size ko. So, ganun talaga. As in, talagang sobrang inano ko siya, in-embrace ko yung brand. So, nalungkot ako doon. But, nung, ano na, nung latter part, nung, ano na, malapit na yung birthday ko, they made up by, you know, sending me a lot of gifts and thanking me for all the support because, syempre, it was so painful for me na parang, why are you tripping on me, di ba? Why, would, why wouldn't you be happy for someone na kagaya mong Pilipino na, di ba? Wow, ang galing kasi, and, ano ko makita pa rin yung mga tao. Kaya hindi kasi ganun lahat ng tao mag-isip eh. So, um, nung December, they, ano, they surprised me with a party, uh, but it's via Zoom, and then they sent my um, gifts via the, via mail, and the invitations to the fashion shows via mail also. As in, um, hands down talaga yung service nila that time. Um, in the past couple of years before this incident happened, wala ako masabi sa ano sa may alaga ng account ko and um, para wala ano eh um, alaga alaga iba talaga when before the 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 kind of service that they had before was totally different with the service that they have now and of course you know there's another thing that I I feel like um hindi na makataruhan yung mga price increase nila. I mean, me, yes, diba? Parang, yes, I'm a collector. Eh, it, the, the price wouldn't matter if it's part of my collection, if it's nice. But, you know, if the customer service is poor, if they treat you like that, if they gang up on you, or, you know, kunyari, um, isasabihin nila na hindi mo pwedeng bilhin to, ito lang yung pwedeng mong bilhin, while, when all the while, bago pa lumabas yung collection, in order mo na yung buong collection, di ba? I mean, that's not how supposed to be the case because we are the consumers. Tayo yung dapat na nasusunod sa kanila. But now, they want full control of everyone who gets their leather goods. It doesn't matter to me, actually, because, you know, I, I can still buy, we can still buy, and there's a lot of people who can buy for us, you know? Um... But the thing is, is it still worth it doing that? I mean, going through all the hassle just for a bag that doesn't appreciate your loyalty and your love for the brand for the longest time. So that's when I decided to say, I'll stop buying bags from now on. But if there's a pair of shoes, if there's clothing, or if there's anything that, you know, that's not bags from them, I'll still, I'll still support. But, you know, 
at the minimum not not like before that you know parang araw-araw yata laman ako ng Chanel boutique kasi you know, doon na yata nakatira yung staff ko and it, those are the happy days 2020 they had a massive price increase that took everyone aback because it was the height of the pandemic in the middle of it uh, us Filipinos we had more orders um, as compared to the times that people can travel because of course sino ba naman yung pwede natin pagkatiwalaan diba kundi yung mga yung mga binibalhan nyo or like kanyari ako um, if, if you ask for my help to source something then I'll source it for you diba that's why I am here eh. I'm here to bridge the gap between that especially during a time like this na walang travels and all sino ang may access yung mga tao na merong connection and meron ng magandang relationship with the brand so ibig sabihan ba diba, bukod doon sa nagpapasok ka na ng sales sa kanila and maganda yung pakikisama mo I mean, sometimes you know you can see my things wala na silang kwenta but I love it because it's Chanel diba it's, those are not practical buys anymore but I still you know I still get to enjoy them because I love the brand I support the brand but this time around I think the poor customer service and those power trippings on the side also yung yung gusto na lang new rules that you can only buy a bag in a couple of months even though you are uh, an elite client but you can buy your clothes and whatever i mean what can you do if i'm if if someone is like me who's a hoarder who wants one bag in all colors and i cannot buy it in this season because you will not allow me even though I already have high points with you. I have good relationship with you. I don't think it's worth stress. I don't think it's worth spending on anymore. So I decided to rekindle my love with other brands that you're going to find out in the future episodes. Also, this is actually a big issue sa lahat na mapapanood nyo. And if you're part of the groups of Chanel lovers, um... With the massive price increases that quarterly happens, but siguro mga once or twice a year yung sobrang taas, you know, it takes me aback na parang, okay, yung una, yes, of course, it becomes more exclusive because it's more expensive. Mas marami yung may gusto um, and mas marami yung, alam mo yun, parang, parang it becomes like that. It's a matter of demand and supply, di ba? So, kotis supply, maraming demand. That's why their their price is ano, going up. Last year was understandable because, you know, everything was put into halt. Imagine transpo or like the importation of the things, yung mga gamit na ginagamit nila pang gawa ng bag and stuff and they had to cut down on people. There, diba? Ang daming tao na nawala ng trabaho and all. So, the price increase was somehow at least understandable on my end as a consumer and also as an entrepreneur and as a consultant. But this year, with the new rulings and the issues with um, the quality of their bags, um, I think I'd have to lay low with the brand already. So um, it's not saying goodbye to Chanel, but it's just a personal preference to stop muna collecting the bags. And so this one is a Chanel 19. Um, this is, I think, the last that I got. Or, yeah, I think this is the last that I got. Um, hindi pa yata ito naka-microchip eh. So, yun. Ay, may naka-microchip na pala ako na bag. Ang huli kong nabili was yung, yung pearls. Yung all pearls. So, there. Um, the issue kasi with the, ano naman, with, with the quality of their bags is that sometimes, diba, we expect, for that amount of money, we expect certain kind of quality, right? But, syempre ako, knowing na, um, that, that there are a lot of high-profile clients or people that, you know, ask for my help, I usually would check them and if it's pangit talaga, I really return because, you know, it's unacceptable for me. Like, there was an incident that I received uh, a wallet that I bought and the creases were all over. But, it was 
place inside the dust bag and a box so you can't say that it's because of the shipping so talagang diba it does not represent friend it's it's not worth the money that i paid for so i returned it diba ang tagal bago nila napalitan because you know the yun nga which is which i i understand and it's it's just mine so i can wait you know but sa dami ng increase sa isang taon na ginagawa nila of course ako as a consumer ako as a local a local loyal client Shebre, I expect ko that they will also level up, not just you know the marketing, but they will also level up the relationships with the people who actually brings in the sales for them, for those who have been loyal to the brand for the years, and you know who's been supporting them even in the middle of a pandemic, de ba? Now, with the prices going up and the quality going down. I think I'm going to put my money into other brands na muna that, that, that I also love. So, I think for now, unless siguro may minodiage na nasusunod at na maganda, hindi na muna ako bibili para sa sarili ko. You see, this is one of the issues that I'm um, trying to say. This is, this is, this has been here, but look, may scratch na siya kagad. It's not, I've never used this. I've just stored it. We just remove it from the from the dust bag just so we can take a photo of it. So, de ba? And then the chain, the hardware. I know naman that it's a rugged, eh. Hindi siya yung ano, hindi siya yung perfect na bullish, bullish. But 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 look at that. I mean, as compared to this one, look at that gold. Parang andam na ng item nung isa, de ba? And it's it's brand new. We just got it from the store, and it just arrived. So. Ang layo, may mga difference. It's not consistent anymore uh, as compared to how it was back in the 90s and the 2000s. I super miss the times when, you know, the the hardware were plated in 24 karat gold. So, I think not until they change their attitude towards um, the consumers and their loyal clientele, I don't think I'm going to spend that much money for just a bag. For just one brand, I would rather spend my money on other brands that actually support us and support people that are actually supporting them back. Um, in the next few episodes, I'm going to share with you what brands that these are and what I'm currently into, so that at least you'll get uh, you'll you'll also have to. I, I also get to share with you the things that you know I'm currently enjoying. So I mean, it's actually a tough decision for me to stop collecting Chanel bags for the moment or as of the moment. But I think it's the right decision also for me. I'm not saying this to discourage anyone to buy, but if you have also encountered this kind of um, situation, even from you know in your local stores and you know or your home stores. Um, it's not an isolated case, so it's about time that you speak up about it, so that they will finally hear that we, the people, we, the consumers, are the ones who should matter with the brand. It's not the other way around. So, ayon. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this kind of sad episode because I'm. It's like a heartbreaking thing for me to say goodbye to them. Um, especially with that olive green na hindi ko na naabutan bilhin because sabi ko, tama na muna. Mag, ah, ano, mag-stop muna ako sa Chanel. But, ayun nga. Ganun talaga. So, if you're going to buy Chanel, you can still go for it. But this one, kasi baka mamaya tatagay niyo because, you know, everyone knows that it's my favorite brand and then if you ask me why I don't have the latest, which is very, ano, very unusual of me, that's the reason behind it. So thank you for have for listening um, to to my story today about my current situation on my collections of Chanel. Um, I hope that um, I kind of enlightened you para pag nagtanong ka in the future ba hindi na ako masyado nag Chanel na bags. And also another thing that um, kind of put me off is that it became too ubiquitous and too accessible for to anyone. Nakaka-happy naman kasi marami kang nakikita, but you know, it has become, you know, 
wala na yung prestige na parang wow you have the that you know very limited the bag and on and and the price keeps on going up so let's see in the near future what's gonna happen but for now that's my decision so thank you for today and i'm going to see you on my next episode which will be a happy one i'm sure i'm sure i'm very very sure because that's what i'm currently into I'll see you again on my next episode. Thank you very much for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or comment down below on the topics that you'd like us to feature on our channel. And of course, the notification bell button so that you'll get to be notified with whatever it is that we're going to do in this channel next time. Thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye!